At Lafayette, Indiana, at the beginning of the current season, Purdue, the 1952 co-champions of the Big Ten Conference, rolled out of the Boilermaker Special. Injuries riddled the Purdue attack, but they fired up the Boilers for the Michigan State game and exploded a stunning upset over the Spartans. John Kerr played left end for the Boilermakers. Senior fullback and booming ground gainer was Max Schmeling. Roy Evans was one of Purdue's quarterbacks. Ed Zimbel, a junior, rambled at the halfback spot. Last year, Purdue and Wisconsin shared the Big Ten championship title, although they never met during 52. Here is this year's clash of the co-champs with Purdue in the dark jerseys. On this play, quarterback Roy Evans keeps the ball, breaks over right tackle, and gains 16 yards before Badger tacklers bring him down. <laughs> quarterback Roy Evans decides on an aerial attack this time against the Badgers. He passes complete to halfback Jim Peters, who gathers it in and then does a neat job of evading Badger tacklers. The play is good for 22 yards and a first down for Coach Stu Holton's playmaker. On this next play, Purdue takes the aerial route again to get over the tough Wisconsin line. Quarterback Roy Evans pitches a screen pass to fullback Dan Pobajewski. The senior fullback weighs 175, but he tiptoes down the sidelines like a ballet dancer to roll up 21 yards for Purdue. Here's a play with Pobajewski again providing plenty of thrills and a little humor for the grid fans. The rumbling fullback packs the ball this time, finds a nice hole, and evades Badger tacklers. Finally, he seemingly is touchdown bound, then loses his balance and falls. Pobajewski evidently felt a little disgusted with himself for not going all the way. But on the very next play with the Boilermakers on the Wisconsin two-yard line, Pobajewski is elected to ram it over for the touchdown. Nothing can stop the fullback this time, and he scores for Purdue's Boilermakers.